Hey guys, it's Thay and this is David Thay. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how I transformed my patio into this beautiful, peaceful oasis. As always, timestamps are in the description below as well as all of the items that I got. I got you guys. The first thing that we did was completely cleaned our patio. Now this took a really long time. We took this pump, put some cleaner in it that is made to help clean the outdoors because when you live in an apartment, you can't use a power washer. So it's not as easy to do that. Um, definitely keep that in mind. Um, set aside a couple hours to do that. Once we did that, we rinsed it with some water, which like, again, we don't have a hose, so it's not as easy. <laughs> and then afterwards, we took a microfiber towel cloth and picked up the excess water. And then we were ready for our first step. Now, I think that this is the biggest game changer from our whole entire patio, and that would be the ikea tiles these are a huge game changer and honestly elevate the space i don't know about you guys but personally i'm never a huge fan of how apartment patio floors look like they always seem a little stained no matter how much you try to clean them it's really annoying <laughs> so i got these tiles overall they're pretty affordable but they do add up so i just measured out the complete square footage of my apartment you might need to add even just one more box because if you do have you know a weirdly shaped balcony that's not a perfect square with no cutaways you're probably gonna maybe need one more and if you don't use it you can always return it back to ikea i was lucky that everything worked out so the cool thing about these tiles is that they just lock in in place super easy to put on i had no issues with it whatsoever for when i had to cut it uh people are always like oh you just cut them and i was like okay took some scissors that did nothing <laughs> so then what i ended up using was some gardening clips and that worked right away it was super easy i still couldn't get like every single square foot of the patio however so i thought to myself okay what could like really elevate that space and for me as i was brainstorming i thought okay white marbles really cute i like how they look i put them in all the crevices Honestly, I think that this also elevated the space so nicely. I just felt really good. I love it. I think that that's a nice way to kind of make it look like, oh, this was intentional, not having it cover the whole entire floor. It was on purpose, you guys, so I could showcase these white marbles, right? <laughs> so that's kind of just like the thing that I've been learning with upgrading my space is just, if something's not working, try to think of creative ways to make that space work. After that, we have two furniture pieces that I really feel like elevate the space. We upgraded our furniture. When I try to upgrade furniture, it's something that we invest in. It's something I'm gonna be using for a while. I wanna make sure that it's comfortable and cozy. I feel like our last patio furniture, you know, definitely was good for its price, but we were looking for something that was cozy because we're all about feeling cozy and comfortable. And so what I found was these two Target pieces. They're from Opal House, which is a Target brand that I'm obsessed with, I'm not gonna lie, it's so cute. And they had this egg chair. And the egg chair is my favorite. It can fit me and Mike for sure. And we're both tall people. <laughs> well, I would say it could fit us, but we're husband and wife, so it's like it's a it's like a cozy fit of two people. It definitely is so comfortable. And we also got a love seat which is also from Opal House. Um, I link both of those down below. It's actually really hard to find a love seat, at least from my research, to find a love seat with that rattan making. That wasn't extremely expensive, <laughs> but honestly, I love them so much, so cute. I would recommend um, spraying your cushions with Scotch Guard. <laughs> this is not sponsored by Scotch Guard in any way, but it helps with protecting from UV rays and also from having any water damage. So I sprayed that, it smells really bad. Ugh. <laughs> sprayed that, I let it dry for like a whole day and then you're good to go. Then I also added this outdoor pillow piece that I also got from Target and it's with Opal House again. I think this is a really cute bohemian addition to it. 
and then for like a table because I feel like you need to have table pieces at least me personally because you know you might have a couple drinks there things to put things down you know so I got this ottoman from Ikea it was super affordable extremely easy to put on so easy so i put that on there and i thought that it meshed really really well together and i just like the feel of it a lot the next thing that was i feel like also a huge game changer was adding the grass wall now this was so hard for us to put on because our walls i swear it has stucco but i believe like right behind that stucco is either brick or some metal i don't know it's some really intense material that is impenetrable and i think that that's what lends us to not having sound carry throughout the apartment complex so i totally get why that's there it does make it really hard to screw things so what we ended up doing was just having we had some screws at the top but really primarily what this wall panel is held by is this extremely intense industrial tape um, that's double-sided i instead of how we did it because we had already assembled it i would put that tape as you're putting it on and it would be so much easier again i use wire cutters to cut out a little hole for the fire sprinkler system because safety's first you know <laughs> but i think that this adds a cute accent wall um, And that brings me to the next thing I got, which is our planter. Now, I really wanted a planter that could be on my railing because we have like a smallish patio space. It's not the smallest patio we've ever had. It's, I think it's actually our biggest patio that we've had. But, you know, I wanted my dog to be able to have his own little space. And I didn't want to risk having him, you know, eat whatever I was planning and I wanted to plant some green onions so dogs can't have that. So I was like, okay, we're gonna put it on a railing. That's my plan. So I went through three planters. It kind of was like Goldilocks and the three planters, basically. So first I had one from Ikea, which is really good for skinny, extremely skinny um, railings, definitely smaller than mine. It absolutely did not work. I thought maybe it could be malleable, girl. That thing is like really strong. It would not bend, no. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Uh, <laughs> maybe re return it or maybe repurpose it somehow in the house. And then I tried this one thing from Home Depot that was also a planter. But the thing about both of those planters is that they do not, I believe, do not have like a hole at the bottom. So you're gonna have to either make your own hole or maybe add some stone to the bottom or maybe plant things that don't require a lot of wet soil, you know? So that way you don't have to worry about rotted soil or anything like that. So I did so much research and then I found this planter that was like so beautiful and perfect. And honestly, I think it would work, I believe, any railing. It is pricey, I will tell you that but I think it's definitely worth it. I think it's like, it's basically beautifully engineered. So it's called the Lechuza Planter and they have a bunch of different styles, a bunch of different colors. Make sure you buy the brackets. They do not come with it. So don't make that mistake. I, I was reading the reviews. Uh, I did not make that mistake, but yeah, it was super easy to put on. The cool thing is that it comes with two different containers that go in it. So you can plant two separate things that don't intermingle. So with the green onions that I have, they don't really like to have as moist of soil as basil. Basil loves moist soil, as I'm learning, and I, I think I may have killed my green onions, um, but that's another story. So that's really cool, and I like that a lot. I think that adding plants and foliage is a really nice element to it. And I did have this empty corner um, in the patio that I felt like needed something so I was either gonna put like a lantern that was like a rattan material or I was going to do a plant 
I ended up deciding to get this shrub. I forget what it's called. I made sure I got all of this at Home Depot, including the planter. And it has a hole, it has a drainage hole at the bottom. So everything's cool. And I actually made it black because I thought black, white, wood color, green, it all goes together really nicely in my opinion. So I liked what that did with the space as well. I also got a rug. It's an outdoor rug. It's from Ruggable. At first I didn't know how to put it on, but the best way to put it on is to roll it and then unroll it onto the thing. I don't know if that helps anyone, but that's how you get it to look nice and straight and perfect. Um, and it's cool because those rugs, you can wash them and reuse them and they seem super durable. And I really like how it elevates everything. And I thought that this would bring all the colors together too. I also had these lights that were strung about. I thought it would be really cute to put the lights up top I thought that was a really nice touch and it was a pain in the butt to put those on. I'm not even going to lie to you. Uh, it was really hard to find areas where we could in fact drill. Um, we used these hooks that I got from Home Depot. We ended up using a drill bit to make a little tiny hole and then using the hook and trying to screw that in. It was a pain in the butt. I'm not even going to lie to you. Hopefully your guys' patio is a lot easier to manage with but i liked how that worked out and then mike my husband found this awesome thing and i'll link it down below i don't really know what it's called but basically it's like a remote to turn on whatever it is but like bluetooth so i can turn on my lights on and off so much easier than unplugging and plugging in which is a pain in the butt i don't want to have to do that <laughs> so i think it like adds another like cute little elevated thing and then I also added this macrame that I think I got on Amazon. It was pretty inexpensive. And I also thought it just like tied everything in together really nicely. Lastly, I got Dexter this beautiful doggy bed. It was black because I thought, oh, if it gets dirty, it's not gonna be as noticeable. And it's also, you can wash it. And if you get tired of certain pieces, you can unzip it, put it in with something else. I'm not even kidding you, as soon as I put that down, he was obsessed with it. He lays down on that bed all the time. He loves it so much. It's really cute. So I got this on Etsy. Uh, it's called Lalo Pet Beds. And honestly, they are pricey, but I feel like they're extremely worth it. And I also put that Lalo bed on top of a pet bed I already had that was lifted. I got that from Amazon. It's also fairly inexpensive. And then actually lastly, if you live in Florida like I do or any hot environment, it's sometimes really difficult to go out in the patio without a fan. This is the only outdoor tower fan that I could find literally the only one i couldn't find one anywhere else that was specifically for outdoor and weatherproof and all that jazz so this works pretty well but the only thing i will say is that the oscillation is not that great it's good for me and mike if we both sit in the same spot if we have guests over i don't really know what to do i guess tough luck sorry guests <laughs> Maybe I could just take turns with my friends using the fan. <laughs> so yeah, that's how we made our patio into our little oasis. I hope you guys found this video super inspirational and informative. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. I always genuinely appreciate it. If you'd like to see more home videos like this for me, comment down below. Let me know. I'm personally making over every single room in my apartment. So everything's going to be like renter friendly. And if you guys haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe. All you have to do is click my face right here. And you can watch some of my other home videos, which are right here. I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye!